in terms of cryptocurrencies generally, uh, I can say almost with certainty that, that they will come to a bad ending. Now, <laughs> when it happens or how or anything else, I don't know. But I know this, if I could buy long-term puts, if I could buy a five-year put on every one of the cryptocurrencies, I'd be glad to do it, but I would never short a dime's worth. Have you thought about you know, trading the futures talking, to take a negative position on Bitcoin? No. You would not do that? No. There's no, re there, there's no reason. I, I get into tr enough trouble with things I think I know something about. Why in the world should I take a long or short position in something I don't know anything about? So, uh, you know, we don't have to know what cocoa beans are going to do or, 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 any, or cryptocurrencies. We just have to focus on eight or ten stocks that businesses, basically, that we think are decent businesses. Uh, but I do think that, uh, I, I think what's going on definitely will come to a bad ending. I mean, you've got virtually everybody. I, I have a class, I have 11 schools coming on Friday. The questions will be on Bitcoin, and I won't know the answers. <laughs> Although when we sat down, Warren, you did say, I should have announced that we were getting involved in Bitcoin this morning. Well, that is true. I mean, if I, uh, to uh, uh, that, that would be much more interesting <laughs> to the audience that, that we were going to issue a whole series of cryptocurrencies tomorrow. But uh, we aren't, believe me. And we don't own any. We're not short any. We'll never have a position in them. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.